join me in my pyjamas at the end of a day where I have driven 460 miles and come back with this. It is a Hitachi CV50D from my brief research on vacuum land. It seems to be the first upright cleaner the Hitachi made or at least sold or made for the UK. And if that wasn't good enough, well, I thought, I've got another one and another one in various states. Let's let's have a look and see what we've got. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? I'm so excited to have a look through these. I am I'm on a coffee high. I'm quite tired. I left the house at quarter past six this morning. Yeah, wow, I didn't know I was going to get three of these. There was another vacuum with these, which would be a separate video because it's not a hit actually CV50D, but these are quite rare. There's been a lot of excitement on the Facebook groups, at least. And I happen to have got three for free. Yeah, there's also a couple of tools. There's two floor tools, which look unused. An extension wand. And dusting brush. And actually one of the handles from one of these machines. But it's broken, sadly. On the CD50D, you can take... The handle off. There's just a pushy button thing that you pushy button about. This one, the button fell off. I do have the button. It is rolling around in my centre console in the car, which is probably the safest place for it. So, got a, I've got two handles. One was missing one. Yeah, the guy had three of them. So I don't know if they work. They've all got plugs. So. This will be easy. In fact, we can have a look at the plugs first. Well, we will have a look at the plugs first because it's boring. Right, well. Uh, okay, well, this one winds its cable back in, but they've both got modern horrible plugs on. This one's even got some bonus tape on the cable. Oh, no, you don't. Do you bring yourself back in? Yes, you do. Oh, well, this one's got a nicer cord for you. This one's also got a nicer Ever Ready on it. Everybody's favourite cheapo plug. Oh, are you going to do up? Yes, you are. So, yeah, we'll put the two other ones to one side for a second and have a look at the one that is at least in the best outward, outward condition. Indeed. So, we'll wind the cable up. Yeah, there's a very nice carrying handle on the back little hose that comes out. I don't know if that does. Oh, it's very short. Oh, I'm not going to attempt to Oh well, <laughs> do that. I was going to say, oh, I wonder what's under this tape. And actually, I'm pleased to see that although the hose itself is a bit squished, although you can easily chop it down, it will just screw back on. So that's that is handy. I sort of wish it didn't do it right now when I want it to suction. There we go. Ah, here is the ratings plate. Again, CV50D. Oh god, that's terrible. Eh, in the darkness. Meh. It's all good at the front. We seem to have a nice height control. Brush roll on off, which is very nice. That would be best see if these have a bag in. This one does. Oh, I wonder what holes are in here. Ah, oh, there we go. So the bag comes out on a little cradle. It's not going to be fun to have a fly. Oh, well. We'll keep the bag in it for now. We have, oh, blimey. Do have a pre-motor filter which is in good order that will wash up very well Ugh. 
sort that out. We'll, we'll pop it back in, bless it. It's doing more good than harm at the very least, although this bag seems okay. So I'd imagine that's from a previous bag related. Oh my God, I'm not leaving that in. Ah, oh, no. That's why it's a big smegging hole in there. I'm sure I've got some of these somewhere. Oh, well. Well, that's definitely not staying in the house. And actually, so I can do a quick pause, oh, we'll check the rest of the bags. Because <laughs> if they're equally disgraceful, they can come out of there. Oh no, this one's acceptable. Okay. We'll keep that one in. We'll keep that out. Oh, I wonder if the back door will go on. It won't. Fancy. For the mid early actually I think 1980s these came from have you got a bag yes are you a biohazard no fab that'll do you can go back over there ready so excellent we'll put that over there we'll pop this one in so at least I don't trash the motor we'll pop the bag door back on <laughs> Have a look at the underside of it. There's a fair bit of mess for one of them to hopefully clean up already. So, we'll push the recline pedal all the way. And I've not actually looked this closely at them because they went into the car upright. And hello, so this is, that is loose. I think that's probably supposed to be loose. Nice. Oh, there's no belt on that. <laughs> that's a nice brush for all those stiff bristles. I mean, oh, I don't have a, ah, don't have any tools on me. So, unless this Torx driver will slot in and work, which it won't, and I think that was the smallest one. Oh, hello, there you go. You can undo it with a Torx bit. That is the underside, and that is the remains of a belt. So this one isn't going to be suctioning at all. There's the two pulleys that'll be the idler pulley and that one will be the drive pulley for the brush roll the brush roll there's nothing wrong with that oh crikey i didn't notice that look it's got a brush roll strip on it as well just like the popper floor tools have oh, but was there a spring in there or not oh, oh gosh okay no then there wasn't a spring now we can see the brush roll. We'll pop you back in. I will have to find some different springs. They're fairly easy to get hold of though. They are just a spring. And I'm, well, I'm going to put this back together and well, we'll see if it turns on. Although it's not going to be very good at cleaning. <sighs> well, that was only a little bit fiddly. Going to be actually probably a good test of the motor at the very least because that's all we can really listen for so we'll plug it in and see if it turns on oh. we can clean up the I think these must have come with it because I know the vacuum nam thread said that these came with a toolkit, like a little extender hose that you plug into here. Just like the modern vacuums do. Crikey, who have been churning that rubbish out recently to try and comply with the as little air path as possible to get as much airflow out of it? It's only 550 watts as well. Right. Oh, look, we can see if the cable will wind in one-handed. Yes! So, this is certainly the cleanest. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there we go. I'm gonna make one nice one for myself, I'll be honest. So, this one's certainly good to know. I think we should now start with the worst one. Because this one is filthy now this obviously hasn't got a bag in it now oh oh hello oh there we go hasn't got a 
free motor filter either. Well, I know what to do. We'll pop the bag out of this one. So it has a bag. This is the one with the nice ever ready plug on it. So hopefully that's a good omen. Oh, there's more tape on the cable. Oh, I love it when they squeak like that. Nothing wrong with that. Now this one has got the slight disadvantage of the hose is quite broken. Although it's only come out of the top, so we could probably screw that back in. At least well enough. Yeah, there we can. Like that. That's screwing in very nicely indeed. We'll leave it off for now. This is yeah, this has been up this was only bought out of the loft literally yesterday apparently for me to come and get it. Which is pretty cool. Oh my god, there's a massive spider. Let me go and get Lay Dyson. trigger fixed yet but it's gonna be good enough to get the spider oh that's nice I wonder what else is crawling around my car so okay it's good oh don't think we have a belt on this one either but I do feel I'm too afraid to take that rusty screw out so I think what we'll do is we will just bite the bullet plug it in oh, hello. Oh, I can hear something rattling around in it, but I don't think it's anything too unnerving. It doesn't sound like it's burning out. Pull whatever's living there out. Got to touch me, sir. Motor is very good, but bone dry, bless it. So that's this is probably the worst one, as in it's missing its bumper, and I think they're a bit impossible to find. And again, it doesn't have a handle, although we have two spares. But again, it's got the better hose, so that is a thing. Can't right, nothing else crawls out of that. It's, I hope this one's got a belt. Can't wait to go straight to it. Oh yes, right, so this is what I would at the minute consider, although it's not really very relevant really as to which one's going to be the one that I'm going to keep and do because they'll all get stripped down and I'll pick the best parts from each. So this is, you know, it's got a bumper, which I know a collector who wants a bumper, so the bumper's been spoken for, he needs a motor as well. So if this motor works, we will be okay, and again, it's very lofty. We've seen inside of it, I don't care. In fact, since this one has half a chance of actually working, we may as well come up a little bit. We'll fix the handle, because we just looked at two of these. We don't need to look at a third in that much detail. Pull the cable out. Cable's a bit more used than the others. Ah. Ooh, there's a big break in it as well, but I think it'll be okay. Bang! Oh, not yet. Oh, there we go. So we can turn the flash valve on and off. Although it doesn't seem to turn itself on and off when you lift the machine up. Like this oh, yeah. The belt isn't slowing down, but it's not fantastic either.
again now it varies with suction from the hose. Oh, and I know the cable is going to work because it's trying to reel itself in even as really you just spent that entire little demo pushing yourself in and now you won't go in without a helping hand. How dare you get in that clean. So I'm very happy with this because I've I get to have a new shiny toy eventually. When I put a bit of work into it, I get to make another collector day because he's always wanted one. And I get to make another collector day because I'll then have a spare motor out of the broken one. In fact I'll probably just send him the worst one whole if I don't need any parts of it, that's the problem. If I need parts that will come apart. So Oh, awesome, I need another coffee now. We have three identical, I mean, hang on, I know you can't see me do this, but one serial number is 4019099, and the other two haven't got rating space, for goodness sake. Right, okay, scrap that. Who knows how related they are. I shall pop the handle in another of them, just because I can, and I... I, I these go with them, but it's missing so much of the toolkit that it's just a little bit pointless caring about the small tool. So there we go. Cover yourself up, man. Ah, not even... Oh, my camera mirrors. I never realised that. Sorry. Oh, no, you can fit the back door without a bag. Okie dokie. So, we're here. Next time you see these, you may only see one of them because I'm probably not going to do all three of them. And if I do, well, maybe two of them then, because I think two will definitely come out of this and then lots of spares to keep another one going, which I do like the sound of. So, okay, stay tuned to see which two of these survives. And I thank you very much for watching. Have you had one of these, by the way? I can think of at least one YouTuber. I know that you, Mr. The Vintage Appliance Emporium, will have at least five or six stuffed under the sofa. I mean, I've seen a few about it, but have you had one? Do you have one? What do you think of it? Because I can't imagine that that little test is indicative of how they should work. But until we find that out and work out how they should work, we have to leave it there. So... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and two of these will see you soon. Bye bye.